So in a previous video, I showed you how to create folders and upload your files to Canvas. But this isn't where I want to give my students access to the files in my course. Instead, I want to create a home page that has links to those files. Just a nicer looking list where students can more quickly access the files that I want them to access in my course. So I've hidden the files tool and I've got a different video that will show you how to reorder and hide links on the course menu. Um, but I'm going to create a home page that has links to those files instead. So I'm going to go to the pages tool and I'm going to add a new page. So click that add one or the blue add page button. And this is going to be home page. And here's where there's basically three kinds of files that I want to link to on this page. And I'm just going to um, mimic the same file structure that I have over in the files tool. So over on my content selector pane, if I select the files tab, then you'll see that those three folders that I created with the files in each of them. So you can expand them and see the files that have already been uploaded into Canvas. I don't need to upload them again because then I'll be creating duplicate files. But if it was a new file that I hadn't yet uploaded, certainly I'd have the option to do that. It'll even let me put one of those files uh, or choose one of those folders for where to uh, save the file, the new file that I'm uploading. So you do have that option. Um, but in this case, I've already got the ones that I need uploaded. It's just that I want to link them on this page. So I'm going to start by saying general course documents and I'm going to expand those files and over here I'll hit the schedule button, the syllabus button, or those links and as I do it'll actually create links to those files. So there I clicked on syllabus and sure enough it flashed yellow and created a hyperlink of syllabus. Same thing for schedule, it flashes yellow as it makes that hyperlink for schedule. Now I'm going to go to um, PowerPoints Right? and do the same thing over here, lecture week one. I'm going to hit enter between each of these and I there's no way to do these multiple oops but there you can see I clicked the wrong one. I'm going to highlight that, delete it and then I meant to click six, enter, seven, six, enter, seven, enter, eight, enter. So we're good there. And then the next thing is research assignment resources. The files I'm going to include here are that one, enter, data for assignment, so an Excel, a PDF, and a research paper dot doc, docx. Okay, so those are the links now to organize it a little bit nicer, present it and format it in a nicer way. I like having lists as bulleted lists. So we could highlight those and those are going to go into our general course documents header. Same thing for PowerPoints and these guys will get added to a bulleted list. And same thing for research type assignment resources. It makes this a lot more easy to read and saves us some space, some scrolling space on that screen. If I wanted to, I could still modify the text of these hyperlinks um, without ruining the uh, hyperlink, without messing up the, the hyperlink itself. So it might be that your files weren't named exactly like you want the hyperlink to be and that's okay. You can go in there and make those changes. Now we're going to hit save and publish and it's showing the page that I just created. That's good. Um, I haven't yet made this actually be the home page so even though it's called home page it's really just home page by name. It's not uh, functioning as one. So let me set this to be my front page first. That's the first step. It needs to be published. It, we need to say use as front page. And then we go home and then we say choose home page, pages front page and we hit save. Okay, so rewind the video if you need to see that again. I know there were a few steps there. But the last thing to do is to check out the student view which we can also do from home page. 
Okay, I'm on home. Notice I'm not seeing the files tool in my menu. Instead, I'm just seeing the list of files on the home page. And students have this little preview magnifying glass icon that expands the preview of the file. So they shouldn't have to download it in order to see it. They certainly can download it by clicking on the link. So one option here would be to add a header to this page. Um, you can also add an image of yourself to this page as the instructor of the course. So let's leave student view and check out how to do this to add some visual elements to the home page of the course, which we couldn't do if we were sharing these files in the files tool alone. So if you haven't already seen it, check out my video on the homepage starter page. It's out in the Canvas Commons and it's got an image and some um, resource information on it. You can import it from the Canvas Commons into your own course. It brings a page in that you'll find called homepage starter on your course. That homepage starter and all the elements in it are now pieces that you can copy and paste into that home page that you have your files linked on. So I'm going to go ahead and edit my home page starter and I'm going to copy some elements here. So I'll copy that image and I'll copy, let's see, copy that. I'm going to highlight, I'll highlight, let's say I highlight everything on this page for now and I'm going to hit control C to copy or right click copy. And then I'll cancel this because I have what I need from that page, right? Now I'll go back to my home page that I've been working on and I'm going to edit this and I can paste that stuff in here. And then of course it'll take some reorganization, but I've got now a header image, a place to put a little welcome blurb um, for my students. If I want to link to the syllabus, I had one in there. Quick links for Mesa College students maybe about my instructor so I could put information about me in here. I'll swap this out with my picture. So I'll delete that, find my picture. So I go over to images and look for the picture that I've uploaded already. Or of course, upload, upload a new image if you haven't already done that. Resize that and now We've got all sorts of stuff, all sorts of good stuff, and maybe I will reorder this. So I'll put that stuff, and then maybe about my about your instructor goes at the bottom. So of course you get to decide how all of this looks in your course with your content, um, but I want you to see how the pages homepage does allow you to make a more visually appealing um, page for your students. So if we go home now, we can see that not only do we have our files on that homepage, but it also lets us add context um, images and text around those files as well. So that might be a benefit to using a page over the files tool, which would really just be folders and subfolders of files. A third option for sharing files with students is using the modules tool. And modules may be a better option if you have more files to share with students or if you're also incorporating pages and activities with the Canvas files. So check out the video on building modules in Canvas if you haven't already seen that. Thanks for watching.